Hello, I'm Axon and I'm a machinations engineer and I'll show you how you can bring values from your machinations diagram into your Unity game objects using our plugin, Machinations Up. I'm using this example that I downloaded from the asset store. It's a simple game where you control this character with the arrow keys. It's already connected to the machinations backend and we've done some changes to it. But the class that controls this character, the main character, has been left completely unmodified. So now, in order to bring values here, I'm going to create a machinations game object. And inside the awake, awake uh, method of the unity game object, I will instantiate the machinations game object. And I'm going to provide it a manifest. The manifest is what we use in order to instruct up what values to get from the backend. Let's declare a string, string constraint, constant for, um, for what we'd like to retrieve. And let's declare the manifest. The manifest should be static because it's going to be used for all the instances of this object. There is no purpose into there is no purpose in creating uh, multiple instances of a manifest since all the game objects will use the same diagram values. We're going to give it a game object property, a game object name, so that it's easier to identify later, and a list of properties to sync. The list of properties to sync is a list of diagram mappings, and each diagram mapping corresponds to an element in your diagram. In our case, what we want to bring is the health property. So we'll give it this name here. And now it's time to specify its ID. So here's our diagram for Ruby's adventure. It has multiple elements in it, but what we're interested in this case is the player hit points. So the player hit points is this, uh, this pool right here. And you can see that it has 12 in it. And its ID you can see here. This is the one with a, with a hash. So we have to give the ID of 19 here. Also, we can give a default element base here. In case we don't have a connections to the backend, then we can, um, then this element will be given. This element, this value will be used. So now it's time to replace everywhere where we have health with the actual uh, health value. So what we, will, what we will use instead of current health, we are going to use the machinations game object of the health value, dot value. So we have to change this here and this here and this here with the new value. And you cannot simply, one does not simply change the value to something else in, uh, in a machinations object. One has to call this change value to or change value with. There's multiple reasons for that. One reason is, as you can see in Unity, in order to, in, for them, in order to make sure that the value is, stays between a certain, in a certain range, they use this clamp function. We don't need to do this because it's provided out of the box by our, our uh, plugin. Another reason is that if you notify, uh, we, we need to be notified of value changes because uh, we will be doing a lot of uh, very useful things uh, with these notifications. You will see in, uh, in, a few, in future videos what, uh, what exactly I mean by that. Also here, we have to change the max health here because this is how we calculate the percentage of the health bar. So when, um, when uh, th before it was current health um, by max health divided by max health, and in this case, we will use base value. The base value is the max, max health. So a machinations element always stores the max value inside base value. That's, that's always there, it's always ready for you to use. And of course, here we have to change as well. All other instances of this current health, we will change. Oops, wrong copy. So we'll change this one here and this one 
to base value. Since when the player dies here in the respawn method, we would like to to reset the health to max. So let's see what this has achieved so far. Let's see where we are. It's compiling and now any moment we can run it. Let's see what happens. Hmm, it's still at five apparently. But if we look in the console here, we will see that actually it has received the value of 12. So there's an error in the code, which of course I purposely left for educational reasons. So what we need to do, we need to go to the start, <clears throat> the start method of the, um, of the Unity game object and do a few things there. So first of all, we need to say on binders updated, do this. So we are going to have an uh, event handler so that we are notified when the health changes, when the game initializes, when the value comes from the machinations backend, here we need to some we need to update. So we'll use set numeric value and we are going to set the value to what we received from the backend. So let's see what we have now. It's compiling. And let's see, it's running and it's 12. It was a little bit five there because of uh, update reasons. This is, uh, we hacked at this example quite um, quite carelessly. So it updates a bit slower, but of course it's not, uh, it's, it's only a cosmetical thing. So let's see now if we change the value in real time, will also, will that also work? I change it to 15 maybe, I changed it right here to 15. Moving back to the game, it's changed to 15. There is a small delay because I'm in another country and connecting through a lot of VPNs and uh, other network uh, drudgery to our, uh, to our server. But um, there you have it. Hope you liked the video and tune in for more uh, funny ad machinations adventures. Thank you for watching.